Transforming Light into Chemical Energy Using Bacterial Rhodopsin One of the simplest approaches to transforming light into biologically useful energy is found in the Archaea Halobacterium halobium, clearly named before the distinction between bacteria and archaea was fully appreciated. In Bacterial Rhodopsin, an all-transretinal group is attached to the protein, an opsin, to make bacterial rhodopsin. The retinal group absorbs light, and when it does, it changes its shape. It undergoes what's known as a photoisomerization. As a result of this change in shape, 13 cis retinal releases a hydrogen ion on the outside of the cell. It isomerizes back to the low energy all trans state by picking up a hydrogen from inside the cell. Each photon absorbed leads to a hydrogen ion being pumped out of the cell. If we look at the details of the cell's structure, we would see that bacterial rhodopsin molecules are embedded in the membrane, and they are located in the outer plasma membrane of the cell. When a photon is absorbed by the bacterial rhodopsin molecule, it leads to the movement of hydrogen ions outside of the cell. This creates a proton gradient across the cell membrane. ATP synthases in the plasma membrane then use this proton gradient to generate ATP. It's also the case that this proton gradient is used to drive the flagella, which lets the cell swim. So here's the question. What would happen to ATP production if bacterial rhodopsin molecules were oriented randomly within the cell's plasma membrane? that is, some pointing in and others pointing out. 